All right, today we're going to talk about drawing paths uh, with the pen tool. And this is important really when you're trying to mask or trying to get a selection of something that is more hard edged. Uh, maybe not, we probably wouldn't use the pen tool on hair, but we could use pen tool on a shape, something like this. So, first thing we're going to do is choose the pen tool keyboard shortcut for that is P. So we just tap the P key and we get the pen tool. And the first thing I want to show you is to um, how we don't want to select curves with the pen tool. And I don't want to see you just clicking straight line segments and have a bunch of line segments and points to create that path and create that curve. So this is what I don't want to see. All right. So work with this and try to get to the point where you have very few points and one smooth curve. Okay. So we're just going to delete that and start over. And you can pan and zoom all that you want to when you're um, working with the pen tool. That's what it's all about. So let's try this technique. Uh, for starters, let's try to create this curve. What we're going to do is we're going to click here. And we're going to click here. And then we're going to come back. And as you see, as we hover over this line, a plus sign is going to show up on your pen tool and we're just going to click and then we're going to hold down command because command will give us our white arrow tool that's how we make selections on paths and we're just going to try to move that into place and then we're going to extend that curve just by dragging these little control handles and if we have to go back and move this around, we most certainly can. We want to try to just get that to where everything lines up. Okay? And then we're just going to click. And we want to try it. We probably want to try to make that straight line all in one segment. So we'll click here. We'll click here. And then we're going to come back here and click right in the center, hold down command, and drag that up, extend the handles, still holding down command. All command does is give us our white arrow tool. Then we'll pan down to our bottom here, we'll click, we'll click, and so we're just, we're clicking on the beginning of the curve and the end of the curve and then going back in and creating that curve. Okay, I'm holding down spacebar to pan. Hopefully you guys have gotten to that point to where you're not switching tools. So I'll click at the beginning at the end of my curve and then come back in and try to add to that curve to get my entire curve and you see this is a much smoother path than click 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 like it did at the beginning and then we'll come up here and to close a path you'll see that when my pen tool hovers over that first point or end point here you'll see how that O comes about and O on the pen tool means close so when I click here, and you and you can you can read your tool, it's going to tell you when you're hovered right over that point, that O pops up, and I'm going to click on it, and that closes my path. And then all I have to do to um, select my path is we're going to hold down Command again. Command gives us our white arrow tool without switching tools. And we'll just option click that to select that whole path. And that is the basics of 
working with the pen tool. And for beginners, this is how I suggest you work. Don't try to click and drag and pull these paths really quick. Let's learn the basics first. All right. That's it. Enjoy and um, work with this because this is something you're going to have to learn how to do. See ya.